Happy holidays everyone and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to be making this adorable Christmas themed baby shower cake complete with a little Santa baby sleeping under the tree. This is the perfect cake to celebrate your little bundle of joy with a little bit of holiday spirit. So let's get right into it. So for today's cake we're going to be using three six inch layers of my favorite rainbow sprinkle recipe and we're just going to begin by leveling these layers out so that way we can begin stacking and filling. So beginning with an eight inch cake board we're just going to add a dab of our buttercream for that first layer of cake to stick to and then we're going to add some fun festive stripes with some blue and some white buttercream and don't forget to smooth each of these layers before adding the next layer of cake so you don't end up with any air bubbles trapped in between and for those of you who are still looking for that perfect buttercream look no further you have to try my easy american buttercream and i will leave a link to that video in my description box below and now that we have all of our layers filled, we're going to take some more of this light blue buttercream and apply a small amount to the outside of our cake, then spread that all out using a small offset spatula. Then I'm going to pop my cake in the freezer for about 10 minutes before proceeding to apply our final coat. And what I like to do is apply it nice and thick using a piping bag, spread it out a little bit using my offset spatula, and then we're going to go in and perfect it and get it extra smooth using our bench scraper. Now, once we're happy with how that looks, we're going to pop our cake into the fridge to firm up completely while we work on some decorations. And the first one we're going to work on is going to be our little Santa baby. So I've started off with a piece of flesh colored fondant. I've shaped the head to the size that I wanted. And then I've used my X-Acto knife to cut out a rough idea of what I want the body to look like. Now I'm just going to carefully smooth out the arms and the body and the legs using my fingers. And then I'm going to start to form how I want the body to look. And then we're going to add some cute little features like his little toes and his little fingers. And I'm going to do my very best to give him a cute little face and then we're gonna finish this little guy off with a red diaper and a little Santa hat complete with some fluffy white trim. Also for anybody who may be interested in any of the tools that I use during the making of this cake you can find links to purchase these as well as tons of other cool stuff in my description box below and these are affiliate links so I don't get paid if you click only if you buy and if you do thanks for shopping. All right, we have completed our Santa baby and I think he turned out super sweet, but now we're gonna move on to his little blanket and this one's actually really simple and works up fairly quickly. So as you guys can see, I rolled out a piece of red quite thinly. I've used my ruler to mark off the lines of where I want the pattern to be. And now I'm using a Dresden veining tool to mark off sort of a chevron pattern, which I'm gonna connect with some lines to make it look a little bit more like a knitted blanket for the baby. And now we're just gonna go ahead and give it some finished ends and voila, I think that looks pretty neat. So now we're gonna set that off to the side to dry for a bit while we work on the presents for under the tree. So for this part, as you guys can see, I'm just using a ruler to shape my fondant into a nice long rectangle. Then I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut that rectangle into three different segments, each one being a different size. Alright, so now that we have our boxes, they're going to need some bows and ribbon before they're ready to go under the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and roll out a piece of white fondant, cut out some nice thin ribbon strips, and wrap those around each of our presents. Then I'm going to take some more of those little fondant strips, and we're going to make some tiny little bows to make each of our little gifts look complete. And aren't those bows just super adorable? I think our gifts look so sweet. But now we have to get to work on our next decoration so that way our gifts can sit under a tree. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I've taken a piece of green fondant, I rolled that into a cone shape, and now I'm using my scissors to cut the leaves and make this look like an evergreen. 
So for the decorations, we're gonna keep this super simple. We're just gonna use a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, some orange, and some red. We're just gonna make some tiny little balls to decorate our tree. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little yellow star on the very top, which I will eventually be painting gold. And then our Christmas tree is complete. There we have it, a quick and simple Christmas tree. And now we're just gonna set that off to the side to dry while we work on some snowflakes for the sides of our cake. And these are actually going to be really simple because I have these really handy little snowflake cutters. And as long as you roll out your fondant nice and thin and let it dry for a few minutes before you cut them, they come out beautifully. All right, now that those are finished, our decorations are complete. But before we can add them, we have to add one last snowy layer of buttercream. So we're just going to take a little bit of white in a piping bag and I'm going to apply this to make it look like snow has drifted all over the top of our cake. And then I'm going to use my small offset spatula to sort of fill in these holes and smooth out my buttercream a little bit better before we finish it off with a flexible smoother as well as a bench scraper to get the surface of our cake silky smooth. All right, we are now ready to decorate our cake. So we are gonna start with our snowflakes first, and we're just gonna apply these randomly all around the bottom of our cake on that blue buttercream. Now we're just gonna give our cake a little spin and figure out where we want that front to be. And then we're gonna lay our little Santa baby down for a nap on his blankie. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our tree and don't forget to insert a toothpick inside for support so that way you have a way to anchor it to the cake and it won't be wobbly. So now we're just gonna finish off with our presents under the tree and finally I made one last little decoration, a festive little sign for the front of our cake that says he or she. And this next part is completely optional, but I find it really makes the cake look complete. So we're gonna add a fancy little ribbon all the way around the base, and we're gonna use some gold to make it look extra fancy. And there you have it guys, our Christmas baby shower cake is complete. Isn't it just so festive and sweet? I absolutely love it, and I really hope you guys did too. And if you did, you know what to do. Leave a big thumbs up, lots of love in that comment section too. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching guys, have a very Merry Christmas.